Welcome back, everybody, to the channel. It's me, Alejandro Mendoza, or the Nerd Chicano. Either way, how you say it, it's all good here. And we're back again for another video as we begin our journey through this new set. And I'm talking about Small Axe, five films by Steve McQueen on Blu-ray from the Criterion Collection. I hope you all are doing great. I hope you all are getting through your collection. You're watching some movies and you're having a great time. Hope you all are having a great start to the year. And of course, I've been looking at all these films. I've been watching some films, so it's been a lot of fun. But I love making these videos and I'm glad that we're here together to start our journey through this set right here. As we look at five films, so a film per week through this set called Small Axe, five films by Steve McQueen. And of course, if you're new here and you haven't subscribed, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss a single review, a collection update, a stream. It doesn't matter. You want to have your notification bell on so you don't miss a single piece of all of that content that drops on the channel. And of course, if, if you're watching this, please leave a like on this video. If you want to lend an extra helping hand and you want to get early access to videos just like the one you're watching right now, along with video essays and other little goodies that I offer on Patreon, then you should go check it out. Patreon.com slash Nerd where you can get all of that. And of course, it is not mandatory, but it is appreciated and it's an optional thing. But if you want to go ahead and continue supporting the channel by watching the videos, subscribing, clicking the notification bell, leaving a like and talking to me in the comments all that is free and you can do that and i would be much appreciated of all of that of course you guys can go ahead and help on patreon if you want if you don't that is fine either way i love making content for y'all and i love being able to discuss these films with you all it's been a while since we looked at a box set or any type of set but because the wonderful lucky peach aka rachel from the luckiest peach podcast gifted this to me during the november barnes and noble sale we're gonna go ahead and start this journey here and we're gonna look at every film in here and i'm going to uh, go ahead and first go ahead and read this introduction from the film we're gonna look at the packet of the set and then we're gonna look at the packaging and then we'll look at the individual film as we look at mangrove today which is the start of small acts on this set so let's go ahead and read that introduction from criterion with the five films that make up his small X anthology mangrove lovers rock red white and blue alex weedle and education Director Steve McQueen offers a richly evocative panorama of West Indian life in London from the late 1960s through the early 80s. A time defined for the community by the terror of police violence, the empowering awakening of political consciousness, and the ecstatic escape of a vibrant reggae scene, range, ra ranging in tone from tenderly impressionistic to devastatingly clear-eyed, these powerfully performed portraits of black resistance, joy, creativity, and collective action, all sumptuously shot by Shabir Kirchner, form a revolutionary counter-history of mid-20th century Britain at a, a transformational moment. And of course, uh, this comes in at spine number 1177 in the Criterion Collection and included in this Three disc Blu-ray special edition is a new is new 2K masters of all five films approved by director Steve McQueen with 5.1 surround DTS HD master audio soundtracks. New conversation between McQueen and writer and professor Paul Gilroy. Between the behind the scenes featurettes uh, including interviews with McQueen, executive producer Tracy Schofield, writing consultant Alex Weedle, and members of the Small Axe cast. Uprising 2021, a three-part documentary co-directed by McQueen and James R Rogan uh, about the tragic 1981 New Cross house fire. Audio conversation uh, among McQueen, music producer Dennis Bowville, Bol and Beastie Boys member Mike D. Trailers, English subtitles for the deaf and hard of hearing, plus an essay by film programmer and critic Ashley Clark. And of course, this is the front of the packaging this is the back and then th this is the spine oh actually there, there you go there that's the spine 
and it is a digi pack so you're just going to go ahead and separate it and voila you just take that out and you have of course um this is where small axe all those five films are this is uh so small axe is mangrove lovers rock red white and blue alex Weedle, and education they're all directed by steve mcqueen and of course you get this uh, nice little booklet here with all of the films that make up the West Indi uh, West Indian uh, um, region. And of course it says, if you are the big tree, in the back it says, we are the small axe. And in here you have, of course, the small axe films. You have uh, writings about uprising and then the, the, the essay Seared into Consciousness by Ashley Clark. And there you go right there. And of course, um, you have um, some transfer notes and special thanks and acknowledgements and production credits in the back. And you know, you can, I'll show you some of the art right here, some of the art included with the essay, and you know, just uh, you know, all these uh, behind the scenes uh, stills too, right there. And of course it has like you know the uprising it has like the burn bottom right here because it's about a fire and yeah that's the booklet here and then of course you have the front of that right as you saw then this is the back from one of the stills from lovers rock and then you have two blu-ray discs so this these two have uh mangrove and lovers rock and then Red, White, and Blue, Alex Weedle, and Education are on this second Blu-ray disc right here. And then this is the back art of Letitia Wright from Mangrove. You know Letitia Wright from Black Panther and Black Panther Wakanda Forever as she plays uh, Shuri. And then also included is Uprising, that three-part documentary. It is directed by Steve McQueen and James Rogan. And that is the front of that. This is the back. And then you open it up and you have your Blu-ray disc right here from the film. And then this is the back that literally just says Uprising. But that is the complete packaging for this set from the Criterion Collection. Now, let me go ahead and read this introduction about Mangrove and we'll go ahead and get into the review of this film on Blu-ray from the Criterion Collection. All right, this is the introduction to Mangrove from Criterion. Steve McQueen's multi-strand anthology of West Indian immigrant life in London opens in the late 1960s with this stirring ensemble film in a Caribbean restaurant, a group, a group of black activists, intellectuals, and ordinary people co converge and unite in a struggle against in in incessant police harassment leading to an explosive showdown on the streets and a courtroom drama that challenges the racist power structures of British society. Based on real events, this is a passionate vision of community as a form of resistance performed by a dynamic cast led by Sean Parks, Letitia Wright, and Malachi Kirby, and bolstered by McQueen's eye for vivid sensory detail. And, of course, um, I think on this disc, you had the interview, the sit-down interview with uh, Gilroy, and they also had a nice little interview with um, Steve McQueen, but there's no uh, actual information here that says what is included in this disc, in this first disc with the uh, special features and stuff like that. So if I remember correctly, I did, um, it was uh, those two interviews, which I did get the chance to watch. But let's go ahead and talk about Mangrove on Blu-ray from the Criterion Collection. So this is the only film in the set that I actually watched before I bought this. Uh, I watched this in 2020 and I wanted to actually get through the rest of this series, but I never did. Um, I watched a lot of other stuff and all these films just got lost in the shuffle, but I really liked Mangrove when I first watched it enough to put it at a pretty high rating on my letterbox and i really enjoyed the uh, performances and the way that steve mcqueen really crafts the narrative inside of mangrove and on a rewatch just all of that is much appreciated again 
I think that this movie is really good. I think it's a really good procedural drama, but I also think it's a really good drama in general, where you start off boots on the ground, really getting to know the people of the mangrove. And you get to know the restaurant, you get to know the owners, you get the people that inhabit this beautiful space that is being disrupted by the racist power structures of England at the time. And I really just found myself gravitating to that story. And I really found myself gravitating to the performances by Letitia Wright and um, all of these other uh, actors and actresses in this film that I just thought were fantastic. And I really like the way that uh, this film is shot. Uh, Steve McQueen has a really keen eye for the way that his color palette is uh, translated into these films. And in here, you really do get the sense like you're back in this era. And it looks like the time that this was happening. And it makes it all feel very, you know, close to home as, you know, you're really a bystander watch, watching all of this happen as you know, black liberation and black uh, resistance is at the forefront. It's a really good movie and one that I that I uh, that I'm really glad that I got to rewatch because I think that on a second watch, I really just understood a lot more of what was being done. I think at the time when this film came out, especially during the um, during the um, the murder of uh, of George Floyd, and it was such an in, it was such an important film and film series to watch at the time, especially. So being able to watch it now, all these years after the um of what happened to george floyd and being able to see that you know back then you could get justice you could get some justice and now you can get it too but as long as there's something to fight for i think the steve mcqueen really brings that theme to the forefront of mangrove i watched uh the interview that he did with uh, gilroy i think it was a great interview i thought that we had some really interesting stuff to talk about especially with the history of England and the way that it has tre treated um, black people there, and especially the the way that they uh, the the Black Panther Party was included in there, and the way that what they had to, to do at the time there, um, that was an interesting um, interview, and I really liked the interview they also did with uh, Steve McQueen discussing just how long it was it took to make this film, like the journey to make these five films. It's been a while, but something that I always really gravitated towards that Steve McQueen says is that the reason he did this film especially is because um, at some point, the stories of their ancestors are going to get lost. So to immortalize them in film is to make sure that their stories never get, never stop being told. And I thought that was an interesting way to look at the story of the Mangrove 5, uh, the Mangrove 9, I'm sorry, the Mangrove 9. And I just, I thought that was such an interesting outlook. Now let's talk about this transfer. So of course I watched this on my Panasonic 4K player on my TCL 4K TV. And I listened to the audio from my TV speakers. And I have to say, Mangrove looks really nice on my TV. Um, I watched this on Amazon on like a computer back in 2020 when I watched it and yeah, it looks fine, but you know, th the colors aren't going to be true to the screen that I watched it on. So watching it now on a TV, I, just his color palette is so beautifully registered on my TV screen and you can really see the life that is being brought out of every single detail within the film. Uh, especially that moment in the, um, in the packaging where Letitia Wright is, 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 is in, at, the, at the rally. You, you see those colorful greens start to come to life and it's more of used like as a motif. Once, you know, they feel like the, uh, they feel like they're starting to get more power, more color starts to come out and it's not as dark and cool. It's more warm and vibrant. And I thought it was a really interesting way, um, to present the that motif within the color and it looks really good on my TV. The audio sounds great. I never had a problem with that on the original way, on the original way that I listened, watched it. And I don't have a problem with that now. I wish it was the 5.1 surround DTS HD uh, track, but I can't listen to that. But for what it's coming out of my TV speakers, it sounds really good. And I have to say that it all sounds balanced. The thing sounds like it is a major problem and it sounds just as good as when I 
listen to it when I watched it the first time. So they obviously did something really good if they were able to keep that great quality from before. Now, of course, like I said, I watched those uh, two special features. I'm going to try my New Year's resolution on this channel is that I'm going to watch more special features on these Blu-rays and on these 4Ks because I want to make sure that I get to discuss those things for you all. It's not going to happen for every single one, but it is going to happen for a good amount of them as I'm trying my best for you all. But uh, for now, that's it, guys. If you want to go ahead and follow me on all things social media, make sure you follow me at there. Check on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Letterboxd, Serialized, and on Twitch. I'm the same handle on all of those. Of course, let's go ahead and talk about some movies and connect with each other. Check out The Nerdcore by following us at thenerdcore.com. Twitch and YouTube and Kick is at The Nerdcore. So please go ahead and follow us on those platforms. We're the same handle on all three of those. We could really use your support over there. And for now, that's it, y'all. I will see you all in the next one as we took as we look at another film in my collection. But for now, to all my wonderful cinephiles and renowned scholars, celebrate the love of cinema today, tomorrow, and every day after. Catch you all in the next one, guys. Bye-bye.